Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The final third game will be the last one to determine who's going to take the next game toward the opponent before we head to, into game four for the next part of the matchoff. As right now, the Kings are playing against the Oilers at Rogers Place here at Edmonton, Canada. This is the next one that they are about to be doing to take their way down to the aggressive of the board. They are a tough team to try to go with the USA versus the Canadian team right along the edge. Right now, Winnipeg Jets have already received 3-0 over the Wild score. If they win again, then the game will be over. But now, the LA Kings have extension lead 2-0 over the Oilers. Will the Oilers regain the group to try to stop the plays in the, in the possession? Or will the Kings have the extension 3-0 to try to pick out the Oilers? Right now, it's about that time. As the next commentary up, I will have his OJ. Along with another crew, we have his fan. And in the center ice, I will be in it. So it's time to make a switch off for me over into center ice. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your next game of the last third game before we head in game four. Let's get started, team. Enjoy. It's that time. Game three in Edmonton, Aberdeen. As right now, the Kings are playing against the Oilers for another USA vs. Canadian team. Hello everybody, OJ here along with Ben and Son of Beast. This is NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Puck about to be started and here we go. The starting group are the Edmonton Oilers. We have his Hyman. Then it's Connor McDavid. Right on the other side we have his Evander Kane. Then we have his CC. Back again we have his Darnell Nurse. The starting goaltender will be a good start to maintain the way for Skinner. Skinner has definitely done one of the bestest of the game. He knows it for so far. How the game is often considered here for back in the last past game here, beating against the Winnipeg Jets, the Canadian series rival. But the matchup is very not hard to take its way down toward the bottom of the line. As for right now, the battle of rivalries, it was turning to be the Flames and the Oilers since the last Stanley Cup playoffs for the Battle of Aberdeen. This one really turns out to be one of the bestest. Right now, they'll have to see which game can go for the win next one. Here's Kemp back the airway. Block the shot. Troy Seidel has the puck here now in offense zone territory. Yamamoto will recover it. With a backhander stopped by Kupert's also. Kupert Solo will take this puck to cover it up and that's your starting goaltender for the LA Kings. Now back the airway. It's going to be a tough call to make a decision who will get the next goal in. Now here's Anderson. Bridges off to Dowdy. Dowdy trying to find more room on the open offense. Swings off to Kopitar. Back to Kemp. Now swings over to Anderson. Anderson trying to look over the offense. Nugent Hopkins takes it over. Now he finds himself in the offense zone in the Kings territory. Make a move. Yamamoto pass broken up. Regroup the puck is Elko. Elko with the move. Now stop and cover Solo with the save. He's really going with the save in this one bigger because of that one it's given a hard one to try to maintain its pressure. Don't lead him out to him because that will be a tough one to keep your eyes on. Cobra Solo, save me again. We'll stop the play with 16.30, we'll seven to go in the first period. Now the players are set, ready to take the face off. OJ along with Van, no score yet for the first period. Gabrikov and Fogo block the shot made. Their team has to slide back to make some new passing zones to make an aggressive pass. Ochar back over to Elkholm. Elkholm, job went blocked and it was off the glove again. Yeah, you see that one here, that was a good deflection. And it was right around the board. Because of that one, he didn't have much room to try to fix it for the offense. That was going to give him a hard time. And that was hard to leave him mark. Dunal, stopped by Nurse. Orbison, shot the drop down, down made here as Mc McCloy back over to Kostin. Kostin receiving the puck. Trying to 
recover the count here as Gabrikov over against the Fiala. Fiala finds Velardi. Velardi in the wing. Trying to move the middle. Reaches Gabrikov. Shot for Velardi. Nowhere to be found. He was not ready to take the puck out there. I mean, he should have had that one right towards the line. But it didn't happen already. So he has to make a new changeup to make the setup more count. Here's Velarde back the air away. 14 minutes gone by in the first period. Darnell Nurse will have him recover. Now finds Kane. Kane in the wing. Trying to make a front. Put the right down. Stop again by Carvalho. To McDavid. Corbisalo with the save. That stops with 13.33 left to go in the first period. That obviously was able to push him out. It looks like he was banging and he was pushing out of the way. His head was come on feeling it unconsciousness. So it looks like the, the medical has to put a response if Robinson can still play. We'll keep an eye on him for Robinson with the next one on ice. Right now over again to Jersey. Jersey swings over to Lizette. Over to Velarde. The Kings fire the puck away. Evander Kane will give it over to Kulak. Fires the puck. Connor McDavid in the corner now with the Edmonton Oilers on the Kings territory. Kulak outside. Keys off to Hyman. Shot. Try to flick one here. McDavid. Rejected away. Hyman will try to recover the puck. Now back over to Kulak. With the shot. Rebound in front. That's stopped again by Kokosaro. Lucette will take it over with the offense zone. Walker pushed back. Trying to reach a crossover again. And that pass is broken up. Out of the empty zone. Here's McDavid. McDavid around the, around the way. Trying to get away with it. Bojo over to Jamar. McDavid swings to Bojo. Broberg over to Kula. Kula trying to go over it again. I follow. Now we're to camp. Los Angeles regains their, their group on the offense side to pick up their own territory. Jersey outside. Boberg stopped by Skinner. Skinner with the first save here in game three. Now here's Jamar. Jamar. Reach across. Bojo. And block the shot again. That's right now Kopisaro with the save. Moving aggressive inside. Elko will take it over. Byfield, can but here he comes, and he scores! That's his first goal for the game three, and Kemp has his first goal in the playoffs of game number three. Pretty good, good, good check here for Kemp. After Byfield was looking for a pass, he was able to make that one a good stop. I know this was very tough for him for tonight, but pretty honest with you, Adrian Kemp has his first goal in game three, but right now, every game he has it compared out to with the regular season and then back towards the other season was a tough one as well. Maintain a way big enough to reach out of the zone. Bouchard over to El Cole, back over to get to Bouchard. Bouchard to Yamamoto. Move around the man. Double man on him. Try to give it back over to Joy Slider over again to El Cole. Fires the puck. That's stop again with the puck saved by Corpensaro. We'll stop the play with our pass in the mid-period in the first. With the two corners, we have a son of beast. Connor McDavid is able to pick up his own offensive on the board. Reaching towards him with a fast break is Wheels. He's only maintaining his pressure to have a time on attack ability. This run keeps it over with the offense to pick up his run and try to maintain away. One of the players can try to go pass right toward the AJ and Kemp. I'll be keeping an eye on here on Connor McDavid to keep up the run and go back to the offense on the territory to the Kings to take away from pressuring the Kings out of here. Guys, back to you. Now here's Kaliev. CC will take over with the puck. Edmonton regains the group on offense to pick up their own run. Trying to stop and play is Nurse. That goes down. Sure. Stopped again by Kobari. Anderson Dolan back to Kobari. Shot stopped again by Skinner. Give it over to McLeod. 
McCloy firing around the puck. Anderson will take over. And recovering the puck here is McCoy. Elcombe back outside against the CC. CC shot. Rechuck it up away after a stop by Corpusaro. And a delay penalty call. And it will be Los Angeles with the slashing call. And this one's going to be on Kaliev in the penalty box. Yeah, there's a good call. That's a way about how the referee makes. And right now he's in the penalty box trying to take his arm with Bill Liberation. Power play coming up for the Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl is making this one of his only game in perfection to take a power play goal. He has his tape to tape feed zone ability. When he gives the player open passes, he can try to stop one of the players inbounding and try to go with an open pass to the other players. Leon Dreisaitl's got a good one to take, keep an advantage out there. I'll be keeping an eye on him tonight to keep the run in deck. Back to you, OJ. McDavid, and it goes with another penalty call. Oh boy, this is not really good, because now another player is going to keep on going down. Evander Kane really don't have enough time to think about it. The power play is still going on for McDavid. Now here's Dreisaitl. Open look! Rechuck it up away by Copasaro. Bochard. Now it goes with a 5-on-3 attack. Another slash call. And the Kings will have their own two-man penalty kills in a penalty box. The power play still makes the advantage for the Oilers to try to regroup their possession. Only 52 seconds for the 5-on-3 attack. With the, with the win, here's Costin. Costin to carry! Backhander stopped by Doughty. Doughty was really giving it over this one here because a lot of the time for the defenseman can try to easily break the chain. McCloy to Costin. Costin reaching over it. Backhander stopped by Kupasaro. Yamamoto back the airway to Nurse. Nurse in it! Rebound stopped by Kupasaro. Oh wow, that is going to be a little heavy to heavy hit. They're really aggressive. They did. A lot of the plays that keep out the range, they have no time to think about it. Now with that, Doughty will swing the puck back. Now the power play still on for the Oilers. With one minute to go. And 4.40 to go for the first period. Anderson firing the puck again. Try to stay out of the puck. Now Croston has the puck. Richie for man with a move around. Shot! Stopped by Copasolo. Walker will gain a recruit. Give me the puck. Costa! Oh, Copasolo made that one a stop. It's an easier play to make a suggestion out of it. Because it's not very easy to try to regroup the process. They really are tough. Looks like he's almost ready to go there, OJ. McCloy reach in! Oh! No way to be found out. That's stopped again here by Kupasolo. And without quick, they really are a good team. Yeah, they definitely have to do that one here. For most of the players, it's not easy. Dreisaitl stopped again by Kupasolo. Nugent Hopkins back over again to Bouchard. After a power play is over, three minutes gone by in the first. Bouchard! And no way to be found as the puck went out wide. McDavid, Bochard, shot! Steps like it up again by Kupasolo. Byfield gets over to Walker. Now Heidman. Heidman trying to take over the puck away. McDavid, and it will have to be an offside whistle on Edmonton with only 2.16 remaining. Players are set in a neutral face-off position. The Kings have a one nothing lead in the first period to try to pick up the momentum. Byfield fires the puck. Nurse swings over again, back to Roy. Roy trying to push it back. And right now here's CC on the fast break. With the run around. Shot stopped by Kepasolo. Jamar fires it. That slings out of here, another Kepasolo with the save. CC regroups the puck on offense. Back to Nurse. 
The slump shot deflected, not enough to make it in time. McLeod, McLeod's shot went off. One minute left to play in the first period, no goals for the Oilers, only one for the, for the LA Kings. Regroup the puck, you gotta get some good confidence out there. They're not really gonna be important. Now here's McCloy. McCloy trying to put up an ankle mover. Jamark up with the puck. Bad pass. Byfield rolling around the offense. Trying to take a double man on him. Kemp with the puck. In the offense zone. And that will do for the end of the first period. The Kings start with the one possession that's kept with the goal around Skinner. We'll have a second period coming up after the break. Second period about to begin here at Rogers Place. Puck is about to be set and we're back here and underway in Edmonton. The starting of a goaltender was turned out to be one of the stoppest one as Kupasalo had made a quick save here without John Quick. This really turned out to be one of the best displays. How does it really turn out that Kupasalo had received one by practicing one of the games? Well, to talk about that one here, they're very easy to try to regain the control. The most aggressive drive was keeping it right from the side of it. But on that, it's very not difficult to try to regain the group. And definitely on the other occasion now, they have nowhere else to go find another one to make a protection out of it. They have a lot of them to try to go right from the player's offense, they try to regain out of their way and go back with their sight. Hopefully they can keep up here with Corpusolo to hit that range. Nurse, stop here by Corpusolo. With 18-18 left to go, it's still a 1-0 lead for the Kings. Now the players are ready to take inbound here for the offense of the, of the game for the faceoff. Now with the win, try to Fiala. Try to reach it across. That going back over the airway with 18 minutes gone by in a second. Passes over to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins toward the right side. With a move, shot, scores! Ties the game up! with the first goal in the playoffs in Game 3. That move around with the puck was really turning out that way. Look at how the new Jim Hopkins does. He waits around it. He just finds the right moment to keep it over with the players to make that one go in. That new Jim Hopkins score have to make that one a smash hit. Now with Lacunin, over to Orbison. Elkholm will take it over to Nugent Hopkins. He has his first received his goal the last time he definitely did play in the regular season. He was able to make it clear after a beating against the Winnipeg Jets. But now this ought to be turning out that they're ready to go again. Yeah, they have to do it again one last time because this is a very tough one. Clearing the puck out of here. Now Dowdy has it. Swing it over to Arvidsson. They go from attack with center in the offense zone. To Dudal. And they crouch down and Eugene Hopkins takes it over with the poke check. Fires the puck to McCloy. McCloy over to Jamar. Swings the four goal. Scores! That's another goal! And now have the lead 2-1. play. He looked at the Fogel after Jamar. He had that one right toward it. And look what Fogel did. He was right toward the middle. He was ready to serve the puck. And now the team has it up in the lead. What a great pass here for Jamar and the other player for McLeod on that run. Here's Velarde in the way. Trying to dish it off. That's McLeod with a pass broken up. Jamar will try to receive it. And Garakov will try to take it over to Lizette. Lizette into the offense zone and away. Gives out to the Velarde. With the move! Skinner stops save as right now Ryan will take it back into the offense to Fogel again to McCoy. Roy will try to swing into the offense. 
Open man, let's start. Stop by Skinner. Skinner will hold on to the puck with 14.39 to go in the second period. Now the players are in set, ready to take an inbound. The score is Edmonton lead of 2-1 over the Kings. Lizette wins it. Costin, good block with the shot. Costin gonna reach it. Oh, Kepersaw made that one a good stop. The saving and bounding, I like that block. Because of that one, Costin was really doing as well. Keep that one in mind. He might be doing it again. Now gives over to Lizette. Fires the puck in deep. Nurse will try to swing the puck here. Gives it to Hyman. Hyman toward the outside. Range over the shore. Rebound Costin. And too many bodies in the way after a compass solo with a stop. Now Kulak again to Broberg. Keep the puck moving again to Hyman. Back in their shot. That's tipped out of here as Compasalo with the save. Hyman swings to Broberg back over to Kulak. To McDavid! Stopped again! Kupasala away with a cover call. I follow, try to avoid with a tackle. In the middle now, that's blocked again for the Oilers. Kupatar reaching toward the back of the net. Give it again. Shot! Stopped again. Iman with the punt. Now goes over to Kane. Kane went down. Too hard to make that call. They gotta get that one a fix. Try Sino back over to Bouchard. And Kemp will take it over. Kemp in the wing. Try to look for the man. Go with the shot. And no time luck here as Skinner holds it with the puck. Kopitar gets it back again. Shot to Dirty. Stop again by Skinner. Skinner really making a good save here to try to reach up again. Bouchard got Kopitar. And a shot. One timer stopped here and it goes on broken play. Yamamoto right toward the offensive in the Kings territory. Try Sino with the puck now back over to Nugent Hopkins. Oh, he went pushed down to the right. And it seemed like it's no penalty call with the roughing. Yeah, and they should have that that one caught down. They have to get it over it. Skinner will try to reset with the puck. Down to 10-11 to go in a second. Now the players are set inbound in the offense zone. Now here's Darty. Anderson, shot, deflected, but it's stopped by Skinner. Excellent on an easy play. They might have to keep the groups out of it again. Might need to fix it for more. Now here's Dowdy. Fogel, good block here on, on Dowdy. Fogel trying to reach across over to Jamar. Battling along for the loose puck. Now Cece recovers it. Cece trying to work its way with around the man, but it's uh, taken with the stick lift. Denault swing to Anderson again. Trying to reach across. Cece's got it on end in the offense zone. Kick the puck toward it. That's sent out of reach, and Walker will try to reset it over to Denault. Denault swings over to Fiala. Fiala to Arvidsson. Shot! Stop again by Skinner. Racing towards again to Kapari. Fiala! That went wide as it deflected off, this, off the defender. Fiala! Oh, great block here! He's really doing it much more. Keep up the pressure out of it. You might need to have a lot more block shots if you're going to try to crouch down and try to take a block diving play towards your right. Not toward in front of you because that is right on your helmet. Grober swings to McCloy. Shot! In the fucking away as, as Copasolo with the save. Costin outside. Try to swing it from here. That's stopped again by Copasolo. Kulak with her now. Try to reach to McCloy. Reaching toward the Costin. Costin to Kulak. Back again, McCloy. Shot! Stop again by Corbazalo. And he will hold the play with just under seven minutes to go in the second period. Now the players are ready to take inbounding in the offense. 
the Oilers, we have their good possession to take the game for a tie in the leadoff chain. Now, here's Kulak back to Broberg. Broberg swings to Kulak. Over to Hyman. Stick away. Anderson Dolan recovers the puck. The Kings will take their advantage play into their Oilers territory. Fires away. Jersey swings it over to Walker. In the middle now. A good textbook save here by Skinner. You see what the play does? Because of what happens with Skinner, he was able to keep that one right toward the end of the line. It's not very easy to try to regroup the puck and then try to like stay out of focus sight. You know, all he has to do is just try to keep the man on man. He managed. It's the play where they have to do it right. Now they're ready to take the face off here if uh, only 542 left to remain in the second. Right now the Oilers are still in control right now to take the lead over one. Jersey shot! Stopped by Skinner. Out comes got it now. Swings over to dry side off. A tape to tape feed! Yamamoto broken up the play as Nugent Hopkins will try to save the day to reset the courtesy of the line. I follow! Went a little bumbled up by Dreisaitl. Elkhorn to Bochard. Back again to Elkhorn. Try to swing to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins! Find Dreisaitl! Kobasala with the stop. On uh, disconnection with that one with the play, that's what's been like a disconnecting the run. And that one for Bouchard, Nugent Hopkins would have had that one with a good solid play. They should have had that one here at the moment of time. They gotta do this one correctly. With the move, quick check here. Elkholm's got it now. Now it's facing Jamar. It could be a two on two. Oh, at the goal post. Jamar back over again to Cece. Right to McCoy. Backhander, stop made by Kobazal. McCoy over again to Nurse. Nurse trying to swing it forward and deep. Back to McCoy over again. Villardi takes it away. Now going back to the offense zone in transition. Villardi trying to pull up a stop. Kopitar moves it in. Rebound. Three in a row. Anderson right over to the offense side. That pass taken over. Ivan Byfield with the puck with 212 and Rainey. Kopitar, trying to work his way over to Dowdy. Kane on it now, and blocked away. Hyman with the puck, now pass to Kane. Kane missing it inside the offense zone. Shot! Deflected off again as Velarde will try to stop the play in pressure. The inbound is not very that difficult to maintain its way. It's very that hard that Byfield and the team were really reaching out of their trouble site. They've got to fix them in a lot of communications here because they're not working their way with the offense right. Here's Hyman. We're down to the last minute of the play in the first period. And Anderson will have to try to regroup the puck. Now Dowdy has it. Swings to Byfield. Byfield racing towards the offense zone. To Kemp. To Nobitar. Kopitar stopped again by Skinner. Shore over to Ryan. Flyers the puck over to Kane. Kane racing it toward. Shot! Deflected again as Kopasaro with the stop. Again, Kula. Shabe shuts him down. Only one more face off here in the second period before it comes to a game expired. And Dreisleiter will win it. Jersey and their team are keeping it right away, but not for long. As for Rooch and Hopkins and their team have the 2 1 over Kings. Be right back with the third quarter. This is the third period of Game 3 Oilers and the Kings. It has been a fun night or a matchup of the USA versus the Canada team as right now we also really enjoy seeing what the matches turn to be about. And we know it's still what the team usually makes. Yeah, I agree because this was a very tough one that everybody really loves. 
we all have the player that we care for. And because of this one moment, and most around with the goals and the plays in between, they really love doing this one here so far than ever. With that play in mind, we also would like to thank our sponsorships here for the community assistance from NHL. As we give a great donation to have most of a charity during the pandemic, we really appreciate everyone who is really supporting for the team and keeping an eyes on here. As for the most of the uh, that they have made purchases with most of our food, beverages, and car rentals insurance, with our strong and mighty health insurance, and with our amazing win of the kind of with up with our life, life insurance of the rules this game. Daniel, Enterprise, Rogers, Duncan, Chair Morris, BBG, and Samuel Adam. Fresh, strong, strong fun. So we encourage everyone for the NHL sponsorships, for the CARES. We appreciate your support and thank you for being honest. Our team and our crew can never have done it without you. Yamamoto back the airway. Now the Oilers will gain their group on offense. Dry Saito back the airway to Bouchard. Swings to Elko. Shot! Stopped by Kobasaro. Yamamoto! That shot went tip wide. Bouchard back over to Elko. Stick lifted. Regroup the puck. Kobasaro with the stop. We'll have to give a play here to give that one another run to try to take the offense and go back with the flow. Here are the matchups here as we are currently underway here in game four. Stick around here for the next one as we will get the next matchup in. What we will be seeing right along the side as we have the Bruins and the Penguins back at Pittsburgh. Right now their extension now is a 2-1 series for the Bruins right back here at the PBG Paints Arena. Following along with the second game as we have the Wilds and the Jets still at Canada's Life Palace Century here in Winnipeg. Right now, the Jets have an extension of the lead 3-0 over the Wilds. It could, be in a, it could be an upset for the game, and it might be the end of their run. And then following along with the other team, as we have another one coming in by, the Hurricanes and Islanders here in Long Island at the UBS Arena. And the fourth game for the, fir for the first time, that will be happening here back at Seattle to play again against the Knights. Here at Climate Pledge Arena, where we'll be doing it for the first time and second time of the postseason to find out how, what the games are. So keep your eyes tuned here, now only on Son of Beast. Ryan trying to make its way down a run. Pass! Gustin blocked up away as Fiala takes it over. 2-0 on advantage, Skinner with a stop. Now pull it back out the other way. Swings to Ryan. Ryan going right over again to Costin. Costin swings to Grub Broberg over to Kulak. Shot! Try to deflect right in, but it's Roy hitting the blade. You could see that the blade was able to try to make its inbound and try not to get loose out of it. It doesn't really help us because the player was going right in front of it. He's trying to block the shot. That's called deflection. Whenever the player gets right here from the blade, it turns to be an indirection to try to change them up. It's not really a good way to try to keep the players in deck and tight inbound, but try to loosen it up. So don't let the other player get over this. Try to reach across. Villardi, Yamamoto. Behind the net. Now the Oilers will gain to regroup their offense back to Yamamoto. He's all alone! Round the back! And it's Villardi with the stop. Villardi swinging it over into the wing. Trying to take the shot. That's gloved it away here by Skinner. McCoy firing a puck around over to Jamar. Now Jamar. Sweet the back the way. Oh, Corpus Arlo got it in time. He's really picking up another saves. Exactly. They have done it so much of that. They shouldn't let you get right in between where they're coming, where they come from. And if you're sticking into the NBA playoffs, we got a next game coming in in game two. Now we'll be underway to game, game three and four. That will be the next one here with a different opponent, so keep your eyes peeled. We have the Grizzlies at Lakers playing at Crypto.com Arena. The same thing that goes with the Suns, but the Clippers will have to play here for the next game. Oh, put it back in, CC! Oh boy! 
boy, the defenseman made a mistake. That changes over again. That's because of, you know that CC was able to make that one in a move. That's going to be a very close call to make that one in there. But it got away. They got a goal in there. As I said here before, the Clippers will be playing against the Suns here at Crypto.com Arena. That will be the next game to make their team to try to take the inbound and try to pull it back into the run. And for the next game, we will have the Sixers at the Nets in Barclays Center. That will be in Brooklyn, New York to try to rematch it again. And then the Celtics at Miami to play here at the new arena. That will be the Kamikaze Arena. Well, I'm not sure what it was going to be, but the next season will be a change-up. Instead of the FTX Arena, because that was a little mistaken. Yeah, I don't know what they called that one here. Maybe a new stadium needs to be reliable to make sense. Came to shore. Kopitar with the puck, now back to Doughty. So that will be a couple games here coming up later for the next one to keep an eyes here for tomorrow, only on Set of Beats. That will be happening here at 6.30 tonight, here for the first game, 8 o'clock p.m. For the, for the second game. Third game, right toward the outside, will be at, also at 8, excuse me, at 8.30 p.m. for tonight's coverage matchup. Here's Hyman with the puck. Now swings over to Ekholm. Ekholm almost went down bumbling. Shot it away, and Kubasaro with the stop. Over again to Bouchard. Trying to reach across to Hyman again, right back toward Ekholm. Poked away, Bouchard moving it back forward again. Under eight minutes to go in the third period, it's a 3-1 lead for the Oilers. Now swinging over is Kemp. Kemp trying to race toward to the puck. To the offense zone. Move around again. Ekholm trying to pull it with the blast. Kemp trying to save it again. Poke checked away. Now back to Jamar. Jamar, kick it off. Kilikov. Piello inside. It's stopped again by Skinner. And what a big save here as Skinner comes in with the better plays of this game. They're really doing it a lot of hard work in between. Icing will be whistled on Edmonton as the faceoff's coming up. Now they're ready to take on in the offense zone for the Kings territory in the Oilers. Now with the win, here's Roy. Roy tries to swing to Arvidsson. Fiala! Hooked away. Roy will try to reset their group on offense and regain their control. Now Fiala. John Mark pulling it up ahead. Firing the puck over again. Carson's got the puck. McCloy with the puck. Swing back over to Bouchard. Almost went offside, but still holds it tight. Almost went by the blue line, because if he went passing the blue line, he's going to have to retreat the team to head back and reinforce the regroup again. They can't be left alone. Here's Arvidsson. What a one -on attack! Stopped by Skinner! Oh man, that goes out of play. Five minutes left to play in the third period. Kings trying to work their way in the offense run. With the shot. Tipped off with the shot. Pass to Arvidsson. Great stop by Skinner. Bochard pulling it back the other way. Yamamoto trying to reach in group. He gets the puck. In the back end. He had stopped the toe. Saved here by Skinner. Broberg up again to Kulak. Kulak trying to restore. Oh! Pull it back that way. Kupari. Dry Sidle trying to hold the puck in clear. Nugent Hopkins with the puck now face over to Grover. Nugent Hopkins trying to swing one back. Dowdy outside of the lane over again to Anderson. Down to 3-3 left to play in the third period. It's a 3-1 game. Dolan wipes out. A zone entry here for Kula. Troy Seidel has the puck. Swings to Broberg. Broberg will have to give an offside clear for Edmonton as right now we're under three minutes in the third. With the play of this game, we have Santa B standing by. McDavid's got his own wheels to take his setup into the game. The moment when he has his right timing ability, he gives him a fast break and leads it up with the score. 
Our team right now as Andre Kupitar really has tried to make this one come in. They'll be forced to try to regroup the team, but they will have to find another way to hit the game back in play. I'll be keeping an eye on here on Leah on Connor McDavid and the other team to game back into the group. Back to you. Trying to give it up. Kane! Oh, tip back! No way to be found out for McDavid. Almost would have been tipped in right now. That's very close. Cece. Blocked again. Villardi. Villardi trying to swing over to Anderson. Anderson into the offense zone. Looking for an out man rush. And a high follow shot. Stopped again by Skinner. Ryan scoots it down in the offense zone to McDavid. Just about one minute left to play in the third period, and their team is rising up. All team of the Oilers, they really try to make it spangle out. They try to move the play inbound. They are really trying to hustle this way to the victory line. And right now, the man advantage is on. Our follow shot stopped away. And right now, Cece will clear the puck. Ryan! Trying to give it up. And Roy takes it over to I follow to Kemp. Under 30 seconds. They need to find some help. And Cece gets in the way. Clear the puck down. Jim Mark. Shot. And that is it. The Oilers wins the game in the third game of the postseason. Now they have an extension to cut up to 2-1 over the Kings. Come back in time right now. They're just going to need to keep on going. Now the pass win. Golikov. Kemp trying to pull it back. To Mark. Shot stopped by Skinner. And they will get a win here for the third game of the night in Rogers Place. Oilers with the win. 4 to 1. What a game. And this really has to be one of the best goalies here that Skinner has ever done here for the third game of the night. And without Campbell, they really got a good stop to try to take him over and win the game without Smith. A tremendous night here as we salute to the fans and have a wonderful, amazing part of a game night here in Edmonton of Rogers Place. The Battle of Alberta, not so really, but they're between the U.S. and Canada. Excellent choice. Well, as being said, OJ along here with Fan and Son of Beast. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. And now, we go to three star players of the game to Son of Beast. Good night, everyone. All right, OJ, thank you very much for your time. And now time for three star players of the game. The third star goes out to Marius yeah, John Mark. A goal assistant hit. After a pass look, give it up to McCloy and have it run in the game. Now it's time to head to number two. We have his Cody Cece. He only made a goal, but it deflected right in there and had a, when I'm mistaken. And your first star goes to Skinner. 28 saves, he turned out one of the bestest. So here are the total st st statistic runs that will be on the other side on a bit. As right now, only 88% for the Kings and 79% for the Edmonton Oilers. Only 27 face-off wins for the Kings and 2 for the Edmonton Oilers. Penalty kills was turning out to be a huge mistake here for the Kings, but not for the power play at this moment. They try to regain the group for the Edmonton Oilers to regroup their offense lineup. But not really too much to go with a heavy breakout chain. No short-handed goals in between the two. So game 3 has been completed. We'll stick around later for game number four for the next one for tomorrow to keep your eyes peeled. And as for that one being said, thank you so much for tuning in for the game three matchups of day two to finish off the kickoff start. Right now for game four will be the next one to keep your eyes peeled as the Bruins take on the Penguins at PBG Paints Arena. Then following along with the second part of the game as the Jets take on against the Wilds third game, as right at this moment, there will be another matchup to take. Islanders and the Canes here at UBS Arena, and the fourth and final game of the first day will be the Kraken and the Golden Knights here at Climate Pledge Arena. 
This is Son of Beast, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is Son of Beast, and you can find me on my social media on Instagram and TikTok. Discord is coming soon, so we'll keep you posted here, and I will give a new one to make a shout out to everyone who is here watching on this video for the stream. Probably the stream or live stream. Well, you could never guess it. And right now, that is it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because we're going to have tons of more postseasons away to take it on with the carry. If you don't, somebody will. See ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.